at CES, it's usually the case that we're more curious about the inner workings of a car, be it its autonomous capability, its burgeoning AI complexity, or the efficiency of its electric powertrain. But something we often overlook is how design informs the innovation we see presented. To get a better understanding of this, we spoke to Nissan SVP of Design, Alfonso Albaisa who gave us a tour of the Nissan IMX concept. The IMX, which debuted at the Tokyo Motor Show at the end of last year, makes its US debut at this year's CES. It's Nissan's attempt at making EVs more rugged and moving away from the non-threatening association typically assigned to electric cars. The concept's made to showcase a certain synergy between the exterior and interior, with a wraparound display near the front showing everything that surrounds the car. Furthermore, headrest-mounted speakers make sure that music isn't the only thing you hear. These will augment your senses to provide more situational awareness than just random chimes, tones, and dings. Many of the outward-facing cameras are also used to mirror what's on the other side of the door along the inside of the trim. This is so that occupants of the IMX know of something small that may be around the car, like a child or dog at a crosswalk. Powered by two electric motors, the IMX has a power output equivalent to 430 horsepower and 526 pound-feet of torque. Nissan says that the concept, if put to actual use, would be able to make a 373-mile journey on a single charge. Nissan's ProPilot Driving Assist system is the latest trick the automaker has up its sleeve when it comes to autonomous driving, but the IMX is an idea of where that tech is going. Meant to be a representation of how a self-driving car would operate in practical situations, the IMX tucks its steering wheel and pedals away when it takes over for the driver. Lights along the roofline illuminate to alert other drivers that the car is indeed driving itself, just to give them that level of info. In the meantime, the driver's seat reclines, allowing whomever was behind the wheel to rest now that said wheel has been put away. Seemingly caught in the crossfire between CES and the upcoming Detroit Auto Show, the Tokyo Auto Salon will play host to an important Subaru show car, the Visif Performance STI concept. The show car is based on the Visif Performance concept that was revealed at the Tokyo Motor Show last October, adding visual aggression with unique bodywork, including a revised front bumper, sod sails, and an outrageous-looking version of the WRX STI's traditional oversized rear wing. No word yet on what powers the red-accented concept, but rumors persist that electrification will figure into the next generation of these all-wheel-drive performance cars. For reference, today's WRX STI is powered by a 2.5-liter turbocharged boxer four-cylinder that pumps out 305 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque. Back in October, there was some debate as to whether the Visit Performance concept was meant to serve as a vision of a future Impreza-based WRX or a next-generation legacy, but this new show car should lay that controversy to rest. The designs preview a future WRX and a WRX STI. No mechanical information or dynamic figures have been released so far, but it's fair to expect that even with its more extreme styling and high-performance mission, this Visif Performance STI concept will likely still feature Subaru's next-generation tech, including an iteration of its iSight Driver Assist and Starlink navigation systems. The Tokyo Auto Salon runs from January 12 to 14. Last month, Elon Musk, the tech billionaire who founded SpaceX, said on Twitter that he planned to launch a Tesla electric car into Mars orbit in 2018. 
While the announcement was initially met with skepticism, Musk has backed up his claim by posting a photo of the Tesla Roadster inside the carbon fiber composite fairing of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. Musk wrote in a December 22 Instagram post, test flights of new rockets usually contain mass simulators in the form of concrete or steel blocks. It seemed extremely boring. Of course, anything boring is terrible, especially companies, so we decided to send something unusual, something that made us feel. The Falcon Heavy is a variant of the Falcon 9 rocket, which last year completed a successful launch from the original NASA liftoff pad that first sent astronauts to the moon. For both rockets, the use of composites extends beyond just a payload. The interstage, which connects the upper and lower stages of the rockets, is a composite structure with an aluminum honeycomb core and carbon fiber face sheets. SpaceX says the launch vehicle, the first of its kind for SpaceX, is the most powerful rocket in the world today. Only the Saturn V Moon rocket, last flown in 1973, delivered more payload to orbit. With the ability to lift into orbit over 54 metric tons of mass equivalent to a 737 jetliner loaded with passengers, crew, luggage and fuel Falcon Heavy can lift more than twice the payload of the next closest operational vehicle, the Delta IV Heavy, at one-third the cost. If successful, the Roadster will be the first ever to fly free through the vacuum of space. The launch is expected before the end of January. When Tesla had its Tesla Semi unveiling event last November, Elon Musk pulled off his best Steve Jobs impression when he made a one more thing announcement that completely caught everyone in attendance off guard. In the blink of an eye, Musk introduced a next-gen roadster that no one saw coming. A theatrical moment to say the least, Tesla unveiled its new roadster by having it dramatically drive out from the back of a Tesla Semi. Tesla's next-gen roadster is an absolute beast of a car and can go from 0 to 60 mph in just 1.9 seconds, which is impressively faster than a Bugatti Veyron and any other supercar you can probably think of. In turn, Musk boasted that the new Roadster will be the fastest production car ever made. Beyond that, Tesla's next-gen Roadster sports an impressive range of 620 miles and a top speed of 250 mph. What's more, Tesla's new Roadster features an incredibly sleek design that can easily compare to anything you're liable to see from rival companies like Porsche. Up until recently, the only available photos of Tesla's new Roadster came from the company's November event. Not to worry, Elytrak recently posted some new photos of a Roadster prototype on the road in Malibu, California over the weekend. And in case the guy in the driver's seat looks vaguely familiar to you, it's actually Tesla designer Franz von Holzhausen manning the wheel. Indeed, Holzhausen posted a clearer shot of the Roadster on Twitter not too long ago. The unfortunate news is that Tesla's jaw-dropping Roadster won't be available until 2020. Price-wise, the entry-level price for the Roadster is $200,000, though you can get a Founders Edition model for $250,000 if you're willing to pony up that cash today. Tesla is not the first company to reveal an electric truck Daimler, Volkswagen, Cummins and others got there first. The star power around Tesla and founder, Elon Musk, led the November unveiling of its semi to spark a lot of talk about what the new truck means for the industry. Tesla won't start production until 2019, but big players like UPS, JB Hunt, Pepsi and Anheuser-Busch have already bought in. In an investor note that was published by Business Insider, Morgan Stanley analyst, Adam Jonas, suggested there may already be 1,200 pre-orders. 
Jonas speculated that, the game-changing capabilities and economics of the Tesla Semi potentially set off separation between the technology leaders and the laggards among carriers, shippers, truck OEMs and suppliers. Musk promises the moon and the Semi, and some wonder if Tesla will be able to deliver given the company's highly publicized challenges and delays in the past. Nevertheless, it feels like an ideal moment to reflect on what the announcement, and the attention, portends for key indices. 1. Innovation After describing all the benefits of his new truck, Musk egged on the assembled crowd, the hell with barriers. Jump over The commercial trucking industry may be hesitant to embrace digitization, but the semi-announcement is just another sign that it is happening. There are 3.63 million trucks in operation, at last official count, and they move about 70% of the US weight by freight. That's $762.4 billion in gross freight revenue in this country alone quite an alluring figure. 2. Performance After emerging from a semi, Musk went straight into performance talk. Pulling 80,000 pounds, max gross, the semi gets to 60 mph in 20 seconds. And with a 5% graded max gross, Musk said the semi can go 65 mph, which is 20 mph faster than the best diesel. Musk told the crowd, if you are pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountain strain up a hill, you are earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That said, some truckers claim that these figures still don't make it worth the $200,000 price tag the United Kingdom's Road Haulage Association policy advisor, Rod McKenzie, told Auto Car, haulers don't care about these claimed figures. They're not relevant to us. We're not looking for performance, not least because truck speed is limited to 56 mph. Still, if true, these numbers are potentially transformative long-term. 3. Efficiency Jack Roberts, senior editor of Heavy Duty Trucking magazine wrote, Electric trucks will be an everyday component of fleet operations in the very near future. As noted, there is significant competition already, both domestically and abroad. The semi puts a stake in the ground with a 500-mile range on a single charge. Musk is also promising a network of solar-powered megachargers that can add another 400 miles in 30 minutes. Fuel efficiency is further enhanced by the aerodynamic design that helps it beat a premium sports car and the platooning-ready enhanced autopilot system, which can steer around corners, stay in lane and stop on traffic. 4. Safety the enhanced autopilot also means that the semi-truck will brake automatically if a medical emergency prevents the driver from taking control. This is just one of the many safety features, including a fix for one of the trucker's biggest fears. Musk said, jack niffing isn't possible. The truck will automatically stop jack niffing because it has independent motors on each wheel. Your worst nightmare is gone with this truck. Also, a low center of gravity reduces the chance of rollover. All of which could be alluring in an industry where roadway fatalities per truckers are up again, and truck driving is the most dangerous profession in the country. 5. Drivers With the buzz around autonomous vehicles, many find it interesting that Tesla paid so much attention to the driver experience. Aside from safety gains, the redesigned cabin, which has enough space to stand up and move around, puts the driver at the center, allowing for optimal visibility. Musk said, you're positioned like you're in a race car. The dashboard is replaced with two touchscreen displays that monitor blind spots and electronic logs. Roberts, of Heavy Duty Trucking magazine wrote, my sense is that Tesla has shown the way forward in terms of how a near-future driver information system is going to function, and that other OEMs will soon follow suit with vastly improved systems of their own. 6. Bottom Line Of course, 
All of this is moot if the cost of the semi makes it unattainable for most carriers owner operators. Obviously, the semi is pricey. The base price for the 300 mile range model is $180,000, versus around $120,000 for a traditional truck. But Musk is betting on long term figures. He claims diesel trucks are 20% more expensive to operate than the semi, and claimed a semi owner could save $200,000 in fuel costs over the lifetime of the vehicle. To sweeten the pot, Tesla is offering a 1 million mile no breakdown guarantee. At this point it is still yet to be seen whether the big announcement has legs, will these numbers hold true? Can Tesla manufacture the trucks? Is the battery realistic? Some experts say don't bet against Elon Musk, others hope it's not as Waterloo moment. Only time will tell whether it's a Tesla semi, or someone else's vision, coming down the pike.